Good morning, everyone. It's now the next morning. Very sad morning for all of us because we are leaving this place and we are going somewhere else. I'm sorry, I don't know where we're going, but we're leaving the Mount Inn Hotel, which is like our favorite little spot. And we are gonna be driving into a different town because uh, we actually had plans to go to Tokyo today. We were gonna go explore and do all that stuff, but Grant has a cool day today. He was going with his lady and they were gonna go to a different town and go explore these temples and crash their day. they pretty much invited us and we're like, all right, we're gonna crash your guys' whole plan because they have been researching all this stuff for the past few months. So we have a very exciting day. I'm excited to take the GTR and explore Japan a little bit. We're gonna take you guys along and we're gonna see what we get into today. We're driving the 34. It's a little dirty now. It's a little dusty. Maybe we can try and find a Japanese car wash, Kev? I don't know. They do. They keep their cars really clean here, so I know. I look really foreign with a dusty. Yeah, car. I feel a little disrespectful. Back in the skyline, baby. What's she saying? I think she's saying, Kev, you look really handsome today. She's very excited that you're in the front seat of the car. Wow. Yeah, this car's so nice. I know. Oh my God. I know. All right, we're all pretty hungry. We just had coffee in the hotel. So we're probably gonna go to 7-Eleven or Family Mart or just a Kamini and get some food. And then we're gonna start our drive. Our little road trip. We're trying to figure out how to get the Bluetooth to work in this car and Kevin has this app that, when look at that. The nav is in Japanese and then his phone translates it in real time. Watch this, it's so cool. Wait, you, you know, like oh. reset, you do a little reset. Let's see, what is it saying? Looking for a broadcast station. We're trying to figure it out, but that app is cool. Our first stop this morning is actually an improv stop. We are at the Side X new building. This is where my car is stored and they go to work on cars. Like my car went here a few times overnight. They're still filling it up, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek. This building is huge and it's so rad. I think they said it used to be a wood facility. I don't really know what that really means, but on both sides of the wall, you'll see the crane system. So you could pick up a chassis, you could move motors around. That is such a cool thing to see. I wish we had something like that. That's wild, but look at this place, it's beautiful. So there's customer cars in here. That pink Mark II over there is actually a Colette's car. Really cool. And it looks like they're working on a few cars and they have some more customers coming in because as you guys know, when I, when I store my car here, I'll make some changes or if I break anything and I'm coming back, which I think I'm gonna come back for the summer mats are in a few months. They bring the cars back here, they do the work, they get them ready. And then when you're sort of literally in a ride and drive program, which is really cool, it's uh, something that you don't really see that often, at least in America. And they're just always venturing on cars. Super cool. I think, yeah, Fausto's uh, S15's in here right now. It's a really cool spot. And then there's also another building, which I'll show you right now. But if you're a customer here and you break your car and you don't have the budget to have them come and fix it for you, because obviously you're gonna pay labor on that. There's this garage, which is, which is a detached garage around the corner, that they have everything you could physically need to fix your car and you can just rent the garage and you can do the work yourself but they give you the tools, they give you a tire changer, they give you a welder, and it's just like, it's a big space too. You can fit like four cars in there. Super rad. I've never been here and I wanted to come and visit it, so it was on our way out of the Nihumatsu where we're staying, because now we're gonna go to Az Azuya. I Azuyu? I, I don't know what it's called, but really cool to see. Have to give many thanks to Sidex again for making it possible to come out here and drive so much. And then here's what I imagine to be other customer cars because there's outdoor storage. You can also do indoor storage. So cool, man. So rad. It's just such a trip to see cars that you don't really see at home. And that is like the run of the mill standard car you see everywhere. Weirdest thing to kind of wrap your head around. All right, now we're back at one of my favorite places ever. We came to this exact up garage on our last trip. I mean, I had my Bayside Blue 34. I parked it in the same exact spot. If you don't know what an up garage is, it's essentially like Facebook marketplace for car parts, but in a brick and mortar store. There's like, tons of different options for all aftermarket parts, wheels, turbos, bumpers, everything. I actually think they just opened one in LA, which is pretty cool. They are, yeah. Wait, what? They, yeah. yeah. They have an LA one? Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, they did it in partnership. Well, not in partnership, but they did it with uh, Kazuya Taguchi. Oh, sick. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty sick. All right, this is my favorite part. 
Last time they had an S artist sitting on the floor right here. And that was still here. Welcome back to Up Garage. Oh, so cool. Oh, want a set of OGs for your car? For a Type R? Here you go. Autostrada Modinas. Some rays on the shelf. Oh, that's sick. Ooh, the Advans. They're for Hondas though. Or actually, that's not a Honda. Is it? Five spoke? I don't know. It's really small. On a 4x100, I think. So cool. Oh, you need a set of Blitz coilovers? We got that. They actually I have love that. confettis. I like this more. Oh. This one's cool. I feel like these are pretty cheap. Wow. Uh, it's, like it's like 300 200, bucks? 280 bucks, I bet. Yeah. Whoa, wait, that is cheap. Yeah, that's yeah. super cheap. This yeah, one's to like get a, a to get a brand new set of confettis at home, not brand new set. Wow, a used, a used pair is probably two thousand. It's like two thousand yeah. bucks. I mean, yeah, you can get a pair that one's for like two wow, dollars. dude. The importers are making yeah, guap yeah. when they're selling those. They're making like eighteen hundred bucks. Yeah. Well, they got to import yeah, it, but bucks, let's say. damn, wow. Yeah. I didn't realize they were getting they were selling them for <laughs> so much compared to how much they actually are here. Kevin, can we get you a suit? Ooh, some Nismo knobs in stock? You want a wide body kit? I don't know what it's for. Yeah. S14? S15, yeah. So I told you guys earlier that the cherry blossoms are only for about this week. And look at this. The week's coming to a close and all the leaves are flying off of uh, the trees. So soon, probably by like the next week, it's going to be no leaves, no more petals. And the cherry blossom season is over. Pretty cool, huh? So we just found a cherry blossom garden. This is so sick. Yeah, we're about to get some, we're about to get some sick Dude, photos. Fuck, bring her there. This is sick. We just saw it and we were like, we gotta Hell go. Yeah. Really? This wasn't on the plan? No. Wow. Wow, 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 okay. Let's go take a little look. Let me take the time, I know you like when I describe it. I've been lying to myself, truth, I wanna hide it. Fall in love in seven days a week and won't describe it. I've been trying many things, but nothing comes as close as flying. In the same plane as you, fuck it, we can make it get. That was really rad, but we keep having to move the car every two minutes because this is a one-way road. We're gonna head out of here and keep on going. This was definitely a memory that'll keep forever. Just out of the wild, too. That was not a part of the plan. So cool. But see, your life ain't the same, so why you pressure me? I'd rather be the only one getting these feelings. I've been running so low. Yeah, I'm by myself, probably would call out for help if I really need it I can't really say, I hope you see me Truthfully, I'm fighting feelings, I don't think I need it You need this, probably more than anybody else Yeah, my head floating in the clouds, like I ain't touching down till I see We just entered in this tunnel that we're going through like a big mountain We did it for quite a bit, this is a long tunnel One thing that you guys obviously can't tell on camera, it is cold. It's hot outside, it's like upper 70s. We go into this tunnel and it's a super cold breeze. It's icy in here. We're still going. I should have filmed a clip of us going into the tunnel, but I didn't know it was gonna be this long. I wonder how deep underground we are. Tour guides led us to a town that was built in the 1600s. And it's all straw roofs. Wow. And wow. dirt roads. Wow. And fun fact, when they modernized the city, they buried all the electrical and water and everything, yes. so it still looked traditional. That's the little rivers that just run through the entire wow. town. I'm gonna lose my shit. What was that? I said I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. There's like a couple like farmers markets and stuff. We'll probably poke around. Traditional are we getting lunch here? Yeah. Look, there's like a little restaurant right this there. This is so cool, huh? We're such Baka Gaijin walking around with our cameras talking to it like this. <laughs> like you're not supposed to talk to the, the <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Our 
ourselves a lunch spot, and I believe it's a yakisoba house. So there's noodles and not ramen, but a little a little different. We'll see what we end up picking if we can understand it. It's a really cool spot though. They have traditional tables as well. I chose to sit on the floor. I want to live the experience. Thanks, dude. It's really good for Dylan and my knees and legs. My body hurts. <laughs> <laughs> this looks good. Wow. If only you could smell it. It smells amazing. It smells very, very good. Can they give you an onion? Okay, and so. then, oh, you're gonna show, Dylan, that can't be right. Yeah, yeah that's right. no, that's definitely right. That's right. Yeah. Dylan, pretty sure that's I'd not. I love to do a, mm. Dylan, that can't be right. That can't be right. <laughs> okay, all right. Do it, do it. I will try. How'd you do it? What'd you mix it all? a lot of onion. Though. How'd you get it on the <laughs> stick? How do I, how do I eat this one? You just have to be culture, TJ. Yeah, you just need <laughs> chopsticks. <laughs> and they, you're good. Be, I'm trying yeah. to get an authentic, I want an authentic bite. It's quite good when you get it. Yeah, just do that. You should try, try the other noodle than that. Like noodle. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> do I mix it all? Oh, you took, I think you typically mix the sauce. That is so good. What's the sauce? Is wow. Sauce? Oh, is that not sauce? Oh. I would assume so. I mean, I would try it without first, just so you like it. Yeah, it. Made our way to the end of the street. And uh, is this called a shrine? Nope, this is not a shrine. A temple. Not that either. Oh. What is it? I don't know. A viewing area? Oh. No, look. So this might be a shrine. It's definitely not a temple. I remember Dustin telling this about us. Literally, we did the yeah. same exact thing last trip when we were Holy here. Holy shit, look how steep those stairs. This is cool. Imagine getting kicked down these stairs. That's a way to go. That would Work hurt. Woo. Oh, wow. All right. I'll be back in five minutes when I make it to the top. And out of breath. <laughs> I was still eating my ice cream. <laughs> My shoe was on fire. Ah. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> Everybody holding their breath. <laughs> oh! <laughs> We just got to our room, and this is a special hotel because it has a great view of this big river. I'm gonna give you guys a little oh, tour here. That little thing. Oh, I think this is the onsen down here. I hear it. Is it? It's a bath. Oh my gosh, tell me it goes outside. Oh, what? Yeah, wow. It's hot in here. So you bathe there, and then you get in this natural hot spring. Dude. And your view is oh. that. Oh, it's blurry. Dude, old man with your socks right now. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my gosh. That is epic. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Go. It's so steamy in here too. Feels like a sauna in here. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, how'd you do that? Um, the on switch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go see, I'm gonna go see my open air. Wow, look at the beds. So this is a more traditional style, but I think a little bit westernized because there's actually beds. It's very common to have like little floor mats. This is a dining room and our living room, which is, I think that's your futon. <laughs> Sleep on the table. <laughs> yeah, look at this. So cool. So rad. Uh, this is the view from the room. Check it out, boys. Not half bad. Won't find me complaining here. All right, now we're gonna check out Dylan and Kevin's room. Their room, I believe, is quite different than our room. <laughs> How's it look? Oh, dude, hold on, this is our sex dungeon. Let me take my feet. Oh, well, we're rolling. <laughs> oh, well, look at this romantic ass room that Kevin and I Oh have. my gosh, Nate, go. Oh my gosh. Oh, yours is a Western room. Yeah, that's not... Whoa. You have chargers in your room. That's oh my God, Kevin's already. <laughs> 
This is where you bathe, and then after you bathe, you get in this one. No shot. What are you? Are you below us? Spit my mouth. No, he's, he's. I have to say, this is one of the coolest things about this trip is coming and just doing like brand new experiences with friends. And I encourage. Oh, oh we're lost. We got lost. We're lost. I encourage any of you guys that you and your friends are ever talked about going anywhere like completely foreign to where you live to save up the money and figure out a way to do it. Being here with everyone is what makes it and just experiencing new types of culture is so much fun. And I hope that the videos help showcase that a little bit. Like stuff just as simple as the hotel and, and a traditional style room for Japan. I just have so much respect for everything here. And these are like the memories that will last forever. And yeah, it's expensive, but so worth it at the end of the day. And unfortunately, this hotel, I think is known for the onsens and the room that they have. Uh, the last hotel that we were at was a little bit more opening, to, was more open to foreigners and travelers. So they allow uh, people with tattoos in the bathhouse, but this place does not. So unfortunately, there's like an insane, a, a famous onsen here that looks out over the river, although we have one in our room. The one that you can go and visit is really, really gnarly, but I won't be able to go and do it because I even just have these little baby tattoos. Um, and Grant and Dylan can't go, so. Nor Chrissy. Huh? Oh, Chrissy can't go either. Yeah. Just me. It's gonna be me, Dylan, and Kev. Yeah. We'll let you boys know how it is. I can't even take a video for you. Yeah. I can't take photos, I can't do anything. So. The photos of that I saw online were insane. But coming into doing new experiences, it's so rad, it's so cool. So we're probably gonna uh, unpack. We're here for one night and then we go to Tokyo tomorrow night, but we're gonna settle in and probably go try and get dinner. There was, there's massages here, which they said, the front desk lady said she thinks it's okay if I have a tattoo, I can still do the massage. But I think we're gonna go and try and get a massage and then go to dinner. So we'll see what we get into tonight. We were coming into McDonald's and these two guys <laughs> looked up and they got really excited and then, the, you want a photo? Okay. Here, I'm coming in. Yeah, get in there. Hey. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. Say bye. <laughs> we like walked by them and they were sitting in the corner right there. And I heard them whisper. They go, oh, you two. And then they were like, Grant came around the corner and said hi to them. And he's like, no, Instagram. Oh, Instagram. Yeah, let's move over here. Yeah, let's move over here. And they were really nervous to say hi, so they like left and then came back I in just, for a photo. I was like, screw them, let's say, in me they're dead. Yeah. 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 I really like that. I don't know. Look, how much you speak? They didn't speak English, so I don't know if they... Not decent. No, they just hit you with a bunch of English when they left. Yeah. They just said, oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, goodbye. Said, and I was like, oh, okay. fuck. <laughs> that was cool. We're getting McDonald's tonight, yeah, and right. let me explain why. We miss American food. <laughs> We've been like hyping up, trying to get McDonald's. We tried to go like Wait, last yeah, night, I and it closed right before we got there. So tonight we're all like, what do you guys want for dinner? And we all in the group text were like, McDonald's? Super down. The menu here is different too, which is really cool. It smells so good. The yeah. I can smell the fries. I can't wait. Yeah, there's, uh, I got that bacon potato, hash bacon potato pocket. Second ice cream of the day. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys my potato. I would tell you what my potato is called, but this is what my receipt looks like. So I don't, I don't remember. You might think that this whole bag is for everyone. No, that's for Dylan. Well, the drink, you can have whatever you want. Dylan, give us a McDonald's bag check. I'm, okay, bag check. I wanted the kids meal. I wanted to see what toys they had. We'll see what we got. It looks small. Kind of oh, it's the ambulance. I can feel it. Don't want it. <laughs> so anyways. Let's see, I think I got the samurai burger. That's the kids meal, french fries. Wow, it's adorable. Nuggets. This is <laughs> DVD, which Whoa. I'm actually really excited about. A DVD? I, yeah, when's the last time you held one of these bad boys? Feel that out. Forever. Don't open it though. It'll lose all its value. You could sell that in America. I would imagine. It's a good DVD. Um, what else we got? Oh, okay, so, okay. Yeah, that is mine. That is mine. Oh, guys, I'm ass. 
Oh, I got a potato bacon. Oh, I got that too. What is it called? I don't know. Potato bacon, bacon, potato bacon something? Oh, look, it's the beginning of our room number. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> we can't read anything. I that whole, but, um, and then I got two drinks. One for the child that I am. There you go, buddy. Oh, thank you. And then the melon Fanta. I've had what kind of that. burger is that? Samurai burger? Let's try it. I think it's like a. It's like an Angus beef or something. Is it really? It's like a upgraded it has, burger. It has soy sauce on it. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a first bite real quick. No sauces. That looks so good. What is that? That's fucked up. What is that? It's a samurai. Wow. You got the samurai? Oh. What toy did you get? Dude, that's upsettingly good. Open your toy. That's like eating a teriyaki steak sandwich. Yeah, that's really good. This is great. We have made our way back to 7-Eleven. We probably go to 7-Eleven twice a day. We do. I come here for this. We need the water. I don't have my big water bottle, so I make sacrifices. We just got back to the room. I'm gonna start editing today's video in this very fancy looking living room. Yo, look at my chair. That's not a chair, oh, you what idiot. Is it? What is it? It's an armrest. Arm oh. This is. <laughs> you thought that was a chair? <laughs> And then you put the pillow down. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna edit too. We're all gonna edit. Bunch of editors. We'll edit sesh. Yeah. You know what I like to call them? Shredders. <laughs> we have massages booked tonight. If I could film it, boys, I would. But I can't. They'd probably kick us out of here. Uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another Japan vlog. If it doesn't come up on the main channel, it's going to be on the Clips channel. So if you want to see that vlog, subscribe to the TJ Hunt Clips channel and you'll see something there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And uh, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out and keep moving.